changing with Jared. We saw how hard it was actually. Actually, it was not so hard, but it's a challenge, especially for active babies. So now, um, I'll talk about um, the different kinds of nappies. Why are there so many classes of nappies? Well, I'll talk about the experience go with the types of nappies. So I have here two different types of nappies: the tape and the one, the pull-ups, the one we're using right now with Jared. So, share for yung babies na newborn. Hindi masyado malikot, magalaw. Siyempre, the better option pa rin is of the tape. The tape is the one yung may ganito. Yan yung tape kind of nappy. So, you use this kasi siyempre it's cheaper compared to the pull-ups. At saka, it's easier pagka yung baby is small and not moving. So, for example, itong Paula is our baby. When it's newborn, it's actually faster to remove it, clean him or her up, close the nappy, and throw it away. Rather than pull-ups. Kasi pull-ups, tatanggalin mo pa yung bababa. So, usually, magsiscatter. Especially kung poop yun. Magsiscatter. So, hindi talaga economical na gumamit ng pull-ups for smaller babies. Newborn, up to siguro mga 6 months, ganyan. Hindi kasi na masyado magulog. Now, um, when they're more active, like yan, yung mga, yung nag-start na mag-crawl, at saka yung nag-flip over. Yung parang habang kinachange mo sila, gumagalaw sila. Medyo mahirap yun. For tape, well for me, for my experience with all the four kids, ang mahirap kasi is, if I use tape, tapos magulo sila, there are two possible things that can happen. Kasi nga magulo, the first one is, naiipit ko yung fats nila dito sa singit. So, pagka-tip ko ng ganyan, naiipit yung fats ko without me knowing, I will know it kapag iti-change ko na yung diaper nila on the second time. So, pag tinanggal ko, may sugat na or nag-red na yung singit nila dahil mali yung pagka ko. Dahil magulo eh, hindi ko matad siya. The other one is, na-tip ko nga, pero hindi sa lapat yung lip guard. Yun, nagli-leak yung wiwi or worse, yung ubo. So, pero kung magalit ka yung shubo, syempre, magaling yung pagka-skill nyo. Wala yung problem mag-tape. Well, sa akin, yun lang yung naging problem ko pagka magulo si baby. So, when baby is bigger, I shift to pull-ups kasi parang panty or brief na to derecho, ganon. Tapos, shoot na. And because gartered siya, hindi ka tulad sa tape, less chance yung naiipit yung singit. And then, for leakage, ginaganyan ko lang right after shoot na agad. So, okay to. But, syempre, it's actually more expensive than the tape. Yun lang yung problem. And the other thing is, usually, tignan ko i-figure out to before. Paano ba tinatanggal yung pull-ups? Lalo na kunyari may poop, di ba? So, kasi syempre, the usual panty or briefcase, binababa mo siya, di ba? Tapos, paano kung tumikit yung poop? sa legs, di ba? Parang yun. So, I think, pa, I found out na you just rip here pala. So, pinapunit lang siya, both sides, and then you roll it up after. So, yun yung technique ko, paano tanggalin na, lalo na kung may tip. So, what is the difference naman between the cheap ones and the more expensive ones? So, for both types of nappy, the cheaper one, usually, mas mabilis silang mapuno. Um, the hours, the length of hours na mo use ni baby is usually shorter kapag cheaper yung klase ng diaper. For um, newborn at saka yung mga smaller babies, ilang months pa lang, it's actually okay na konti lang yung capacity ng diaper. Kasi you have to actually change the nappy every 4 hours. Kasi nagra-rush yun. So whether marami yung laman or hindi, Pagka-anak nyo pa lang, sa hospital pa lang, i-recommend na agad ng pibya na every 4 hours, you should change the nappy kasi initimbang nila yun eh. So, you bring that practice home para hindi nag-rush si baby. And then, when they're a bit bigger, syempre ito na, meron din cheap kind na pull-ups. For me, aside from yung content ng wiwi niya, syempre kung mas magbilis mapuno, the other thing is yung garter. Yung ganito. 
Ito kasi, ito yung medyo premium kind. Mas smooth makita yung garter niya. Wala ako nung economy kind eh, pero mas mas mabilis lumuwag yung garter. So, kapag naglalakad si Baby and active siya, mabilis nakuhulog, lalo na kunyari puno yung diaper, tapos hindi siya naka-shorts. Mabilis na nalalawlaw yung, yung diaper. So, for me, yun yung nakita kong difference. So, what I do para hindi masyado magastos, I use the cheaper ones in the morning. And then, night time, ito yung gamit nila. So, cheaper ones, daytime, kahit naglalaro sila, alam mo ng puno, change na lang. Mabilis siya mag-change. Pero, night time, para dire-diretso yung tulog mo at saka yung tulog ni baby, ginagastusan ko siya. Para siya yung precious time yung sleep. Eh. Alam niya yan, mamis, di ba? So, very precious. Um, kahit konting minutes of added sleep can help. For me, that's the difference in the types of nappies that we have. And, um, I guess, the question here is talaga ko, ano talaga yung hiyang KBB? Kasi there are a lot of different brands of nappies out there, pero hiyang-hiyang talaga eh. So it might be the premium brand, the sikat, makilala, and then yun yung sinasabi na okay. But then when you use it, rash si KBB. So papalit ka. Sometimes hindi mo alam na, oh, cheap tong brand na to ah, pero hiyang KBB. So super okay kasi di ba swak sa budget. And then, um, okay pa kay baby. So, it's a, actually a hit or miss. There's nothing right, there's nothing wrong with ano bang brand ang bibilhin ko. Choose what you think is more um, practical for you. Yung swap lang sa budget, yung kailangan yung super high-end yung kailangan bilhin. And what if, if the nappy is, basta ang pinaka um, goal natin is, hindi nag-rash na si BB due to the nappy. Kasi for me, sa experience ko, all my four children, iba-iba. So, like, si KB yung first, I started with Mami Bopo, and then I switched to another brush, nag-rash nag siya. So, I had to switch it back. Yung si Derek naman, I tried the cheap brand first, tapos okay siya. Siyempre yun, all the way na ginamit ko. Parang ganun. So, hiyang-hiyang, at saka, trial and error din. So, for a newborn, you may want to try just one pack first. See if okay sa'yo, okay yung tape, okay yung size. Kasi it also comes in different sizes. Different brands, although small, medium, large, extra large, ganun din yung sizing ng lahat. But, um, yung actual niya may differ from brand to brand. So, choose, just choose one brand. Um, buy one pack. Kapag okay si baby sa hospital, walang rashes, pati yung fit sa katawan niya, Walang problem, stick to that brand. And then, use it all throughout no, hanggang paglaki niya para at least hindi ka na nag-worry kung okay ba, mag-rushes ka siya, and all that. Older, kapag older, like si Jared, ngayon medyo older na siya, mag na siya. Um, Siyempre, medyo conscious na sa parang ang mahal na ng diaper niya, di ba? So, I tried switching to a cheaper brand, ganyan. Medyo hindi ako naging happy. And then, bumalik kami ulit. So, it's just, again, trial and error. So, depende rin sa inyo kung ano sa tingin niyo yung best. Or, actually, for baby lang talaga. So, there, I get, I hope na you learned something from our diaper segment. And uh, we hope to see you again in our next segments to come. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to our page for more mommy tips and advices. See you again!